Yep, that's another one of those field hunts. Well, I'm claiming it's not quite my fault. But maybe I should have known better. Maybe I was tempting fate this time. Whatever you want to call it. But here's the heads up so far. I'm setting up a little pop-up hide. Pushed back into this old gorse bush. Now, this gorse bush used to be a lot bigger. But that real cold snap we had after one Christmas seems to have killed off most of it. It's early spring. You can see the yellow flowers starting to form in some parts of the bush. I'm hoping to decoy some magpies or even a hooded crow into a field that my father owns and rents out to a local man for some horses. Now those of you who have watched my first DVD will have already seen me successfully shoot I think at least three magpies from exactly this same spot and again the horses were in the field and I've never had bother from them before. I've shot magpies exactly this way before many a time and had no problems with the horses. But this time, I don't know. Again, maybe I was tempting fate. Maybe it was because the farmer hadn't fed the horses yet. But something just wasn't going to go right. The first real indication I had that things just weren't going to go right for me this morning was just after I packed up my rucksack with stuff I didn't need like my gun slip and so forth and then I took it to the side to try and hide it in under a bush out of the road. While I was away I left the camera rolling and in came a stranger. Yep, one of the horses being very curious But thankfully did no harm. Once the horses had cleared off to a secluded part of the field, I decided to set up my decoy. Again I'm just using a dead magpie setup. But I'm doing something different. Instead of having a dead rabbit or some white bread for bait, I made up a little grass nest and put a couple of delf eggs or fake eggs into it, hoping that this would bring down the magpies for a shot. Then of course got myself into the hide and settled down. Now, I've been sitting quite patiently for two to three hours now. The magpies are starting to take an interest, but the horses you can see are starting to meander over to my part of the field, which is going to complicate things if they get behind the decoy, because I'm going to have to be very careful to make sure I've got a clear and safe shot without them in the background. Then that magpie lands to the left hand side. I've spotted him but I'm waiting for him to head out to the decoy and the nest to see what he's going to do. And off he sets, hopping along the ground. But as soon as he opens his mouth, that horse in the background lifts his head. And then this old grey doll walks into the camera shot. The magpie's there, but I can't take a shot. It's not safe. Then the other red horse decides to come up as well. She's not interested in the magpies. She's just liking the look of that nest that I bothered weaving out of grass. The magpie's cleared off. And I see she's trying to pull the nest to bits, yeah! so my patience runs out. Be a horse is gonna run the nest again. I struggled to get out of the hide quickly before the horses of the whole decoy set up and tromped into the ground.
I don't know what breed of animal they are, but there's definitely a mischievous streak in them as they prance around the field behind me. I honestly think they done that just for badness. Oh well, the decoy setup's ruined, and the magpies know I'm there. All I can do is swallow my pride, pick my gear up, and head back home. That's another hunt ruined.